Hello, everyone. Welcome. Um, my name is Muhammad Khalil. I'm the director of the Muslim Studies Program, and I'm delighted to welcome you all to this lecture on the Sufi shrines of Uzbekistan, evolution of architecture, featuring a world-renowned scholar, Dr. Mavnuda Yusupova. Uh, I'd like to tell you a little bit about this event. Um, this event is made possible uh, through the generous support of the Templeton Religion Trust as part of a project at the MSU Muslim Studies Program, James Madison College, and Global Studies in the Arts and Humanities. And uh, at this time, I'd like to introduce our, our guest speaker. Uh, Dr. Mavluda Yusupova is a uh, professor is in chair of the Department of Architecture at the Institute of Fine Arts in the Uzbek Academy of Sciences. She is also a professor at the Department of Museology at the K. Bahzad Institute of Fine Arts and Design in Tashkent. She specializes in the history and theory of architecture of Central Asia, religious buildings and shrines, and restoration of architectural monuments. And with that, I will turn it over to our guest speaker, Professor Yusupova. Thank you. Hello, everybody. I'm very glad to be here and uh, I present my, um, it is my favorite theme about uh, not only Islamic architecture, but Sufi architecture of Central Asia and my lecture about the Sufi architecture of Uzbekistan. So, uh, excuse me, sorry for my English. I forgot it uh, without experience. So I will try to uh, speaking and reading. Okay, let's begin. Mm -hmm. On the territory of present Uzbekistan, such ancient cities as Samarkand, Bukhara, Termes, Hiva, and others have been found more than uh, 2,500 years ago. With the arrival of Arabs, they have brought Islam from 18th century, and during Middle Ages, territory of Uzbekistan was called as Mavaran Nahr. Islam has played a really reformative role in the external development of arts, culture, architecture in this region, where high aesthetic philosophy and accurate concept of new religion was reflected. Here on the basis of rich local traditions, local traditions, uh, an ex expressive Islamic architecture was formed with absolutely new types of religious erections. In the Middle Ages, the Sufism, at tasawuf or Tariqat, Tariqat is the, the way to the God, uh, was especially popular and received uh, wide development. The most widespread kind of buildings connected with Sufism were special buildings, Hanakars, for Sufis, built here from the about uh, 19th until the beginning of 20th century. The evolution of the architecture of Sufi shrines and Hanakar buildings in particular is a very complex and multifaceted process which need to be considered in close connection with the transformation of Sufism itself, our time and practice of Sufism uh, during these ages. Uh, at the end of the 10th century, Hanakas had developed uh, involved into Sufi centers characterized by the mentor pupil, Pir Murshid, uh, Pir Murid, Ili, Pir Murshid Shaykh, and follower is only one uh, word, Murid, tradition of study. During this period, Hanakars did not yet have a species, a species typology. For this reason, we single out four periods uh, of um, the development of Hanakar architecture. First period uh, in 8th, 11th centuries. This was the time when Sufism is coming into being in main 
uh, tenets of il ilmi at tasawuf theory were taken shape and work was beginning on the building of the first Sufi monasteries, which in various regions in the Muslim world were known as Rabats, uh, Zaviyas, and Hanakas. In Central Asia, more useful was the uh, term of Hanakas. The Hanakas building originally provided shelter for Sufis who had uh, no dwellings. They were a place where, where religious rituals uh, could be um, enacted. The base could be held and sometimes teaching uh, might take place. At the end uh, of the uh, 10th century Hanakas had involved into Sufi centers are to reside by the mentor pupil. One uh, quite often, quite often Hanakas grow up to next Sufi grave already in extensions or on a or contrary a shaykh might establish a Hanakar in his Oven uh, or some other dwelling near which uh, he would later do, be buried. For example, in Sufi shrine uh, with the grave and Hanakah of Abu Muhammad Az Zaimuni in Bukhara, Hanakah was previously the house of a Shaykh Az Zaimuni, while he domed mausoleum was a former Chilahana into which he used to withdraw. Second period. Second period is 11 till the uh, um, 14th centuries. Sufism is pre-Islamic. Sufism and pre-Islamic cult of sacred tombs were widely spread in Central Asia. Uh, now burial places of Sufi shires located in Sufi shrines become an object of worship and pilgrimage. Uh, Sufi orders brotherhoods or tariqats Kubraviya, Yassaviya, Najbandi, and etc. have extended. In general, these Hanakars Sufi shrines constituted uh, groups of buildings which uh, included the mausoleum of a saint, a hall of four rituals uh, and prayers, its names uh, Sam'a or Zikrhana and dwelling for the shaykh and his family, rooms for teaching and Quran reading, cells for murids and hujras for pilgrims, and so on. As regards, as regards to their structure, these complexes consist of a shadow courtyard with a pool in the middle and buildings around its perimeter. For example, are the Saifeddin Baharzi complex in Bukhara and Qutham ibn Abbas complex in Samarkand. The two com these two complexes, like uh, many other Central Asian Hanaka, are uh, referred to in 3033, uh, 1333 by the Moroccan traveler Ibn Batuta as Zaviyas, the customary term for them uh, in his homeland. And very interesting uh, this third period because in this period was built very, very monumental and very stylish and very different by monumental architecture uh, buildings of Hanaka and uh, Sufism is growing and widespread. And so from the 14th century, the most popular in Madaran Nahar became a Naqshbandi Sufi order, promoted the life affirming motto hands for work and head for God. Uh, it means calling for men to live uh, a creative life while uh, expiring to gain uh, greater knowledge of God. Uh, Preached that it was a longer uh, compulsive of the life, aesthetic, uh, ascetic nomad, and that Hufia, quite zikr, which were more appropriate appropriate for the uh, wealthy and worthy murids of the order. It is, I use in my uh, presentation only the Middle Ages uh, book miniature, 
Miatrice, and here this the uh, picture of the Amir Timur and Abdullah Khan II, who was the murid of uh, several murshids, several shaykhs, especially Amir Timur. Sufism, which had been an uh, ascetic and uh, democratic movement in the beginning, later underwent a considerable transformation. Sufi shaykhs began collaborating more and more uh, actively with uh, uh, authorities and grew uh, rich thanks to the offering uh, contributed uh, by the faithful. The followers of this order were not merely craftsmen and traders, but also rich uh, town dwellings, aristocrats, including actual rulers, Amir Timur, Abdullah Khan II, etc. Well-known poets Alisher Nawai and Abdurrahman Jami and artist Kamaladin Birzat. Now new tombs of Sufi now, new tombs of Sufi shires were arranged in the open air in a special burial platform, Dahma, which often was placed in the Hazira courtyard for burials. The former Hanakars arranged around, around, around uh, courtyard close to mausoleum came to be transformed into funerary uh, gum religion centers. During the 14th, 17th centuries, it was the blossoming time of the Sufi architecture, when by rulers and other, and other Sufi, rich Sufis, most magnificent and monumental Hanakar buildings were uh, commissioned. At this time, Hanakar buildings were more magnificent and monumental. In this period, the predominant was the type of monumental portal domed Hanaka, which uh, with a central domed large hall, Zikr Hana, with hujras on two floors uh, uh, on its corners. Uh, on futures uh, to their architecture, we allocate uh, three following types uh, of monumental Hanakas. So, third type of monumental Hanakas, it is um, it is Hanaka of uh, um, with Zikr Hana in the center, but they they uh, in other two variants. And first of them, Hanaka with central hall Zikr Hana and Kalump Ivan uh, were built a large hall and small rooms on the type Hanaka with Ivan, which uh, genetically uh, connected with usual apartment halls, which are already Sufis arranged their monastery as a result evolution of 15th, 17th century has occurred more monumental forms. That is it the early one, early, early uh, Hanaka type was Hanakak with central hall Zikr Hana and Kalunt Ivan. Uh, in uh, Not the Hanaka with central hall, the Kirhana and Kalunt Ivan were built with a large hall and small rooms on the corners, let round with two or three sides by Kalum's Ivan. Uh, this type Hanakas with Ivan, which genetically connected with usual apartment house, houses uh, in which the early Sufis arranged their monastery, 
as a result of revolution in 15th, 17th centuries, has acquired more monumental forms. Uh, Hazrat Imam and Shahi Aksi Hanakas in 16th century in Bukhara and 17th century's Magdumi Azam Hanakah in Samarkand were such monumental buildings with columned ivans. Uh, in Timur Epoch, it was a two-chamber building where Hanakah adjoined uh, sideway or in front to the uh, Gurhana Mausoleum on of the sacred. Often it was longit uh, longitudinal uh, axial two-chamber uh, construction where behind a large entrance portal uh, the whole Hanakar Zihirhana was located and uh, behind it a small uh, premises Gurhana Mausoleum was placed. So First, early Hanakas, first up, this is Hanakas with Ivans in one, two, or three sides around the Zikrihana uh, ritual hall. And second type, it was uh, most uh, population, most po popular in the Timurid epoch. This is type of Hanaka mausoleum. It was mausoleum in a, in, and uh, enjoyed to mausoleum was built the Hanakah hall. Hanakah was like for the child of Sufis and was like a uh, for Pominalne uh, Malitva, for the Arat, for the Arat of this mausoleum. And you can see here the uh, Zangiata Hanakah mausoleum in Tashkent, which was built during Timurid epoch. And this one uh, was built by uh, Ulubek, Timurid's grandson, astronomer on the throne, uh, Hadja Abdidarun in Samarkand. And Timurid's uh, period, uh, Hanakah's mausoleum, uh, and in Shaibanist epoch it was uh, rebuilt. It is uh, Seifuddin Baharzi mausoleum and mausoleum Hanaka. Seifuddin Baharzi was Sufi Shai of Kubravia Tariqat. This uh, third type, very important, very flourishing uh, period of uh, uh, evolution of uh, Hanaka architecture. Uh, they what, uh, were most been spread in uh, 15th, 17th centuries, building with extremely large domed hall for a uh, Sam Azikrhana and with served uh, basically a ritual hall of Sufis. And there, there are no uh, mausoleum, there is no uh, adjoined Ivan, it is only the monumental uh, building with uh, central. Uh, Zikrihana, central uh, hall, and they enjoyed to him the premises, premises on the corner, premises to the uh, back side. And it was built in the, near the grave of the saint. Such Hanakah could be built uh, both in a memorial complex of separately from mausoleum near a Dagma funeral platform of esteemed Sufi Shaykh, such as Bahauddin Naqshband, Hanakah is biggest Hanakah in Uzbekistan, with very, with very, very big cupola and very uh, beautiful decor, Kerma, two colors ganj. And this one, uh, Bahauddin Naqshband, is the second. Um, that is the second uh, in uh, Shaykh of uh, and founder of Naqshbandiya Tariqat. Uh, this is uh, Shaykh Qasim Shaykh. It is a uh, Sufi of uh, Kubraviya Tariqat. And sometimes monumental portal Don Hanakah built in the center of the square, uh, center of the city. Uh, one of them, it is the, this is square, Labi House. I think people who visited the Bukhara Valley 
uh, known this very famous uh, square of Bukhara, uh, Labi House, because it's uh, the, near the very big house, this one house, and near the house was built in the 17th centuries was by Nadir Devan Begir, this Hanaka, Portal Dom Hanaka. Uh, you can see it here. Uh, you can see the opposite of here. And opposite of them, it is the uh, Madrasa Nadir Devan Begir. This is Hanaka Nadir Devan Begir. It is Bukhara. It is central square of uh, city. And uh, it is one of the several only Hanakas which was built in the center of the city, not in the uh, outside of the city, not in the uh, uh, Sufi complex, but in the city it is a new, uh, it was new for um, evolution of Hanakah architecture. And why it happened? In our opinion, this construction were built without an adjunct mausoleum and without a large number of rooms and also with an arrangement sometimes in the city center for following reasons. From 14th century, the most popular in Mavaranagar became a Naqshbandi Sufi order, uh, whose, uh, whose shaykhs rejected the idea of building mausoleums or our burials. The urban character and ritual practice of Hanakas became more widespread and thus no longer rejected a large amount of living space for teachers, uh, uh, guests, and associated service. This means that the members of the Naqshbandi Sufi order, which promoted their life affirming more the hands for work and um, had for God, Dil, Dil Bayoru Dast Bakor, uh, were able to live with their uh, families at home and only to go to Hanakah to enact religious rituals together for prayer, to uh, listen to the Shaykh uh, preaching for the uh, Hufia Zikr, for uh, night vigils, etc. And sometimes for teaching or uh, special taste uh, feast, Khudai. Uh, none of this request building exact extended over the large area. The monumental portal and Dom Hanakas uh, in turn have the following three various according to the shape of their plan. A portal Don Hanakas of centric composition. In Bukhara, it, it is the uh, 16th, 17th century. For example, Yar Muhammad Atali. Now it is at uh, Utrachina uh, Zdania, it is Utrachina. Da. Razrushine. Здание разрушено. Разрушено. Ага. Now it was, it was not now, it was destroyed in the, uh, sen, uh, the middle of the 19th century. Uh, it was very big uh, Hanakah in the, uh, in the center of Bukhara too, and with a large couple. And same with them was by the plan, this Hanakah, he's uh, now is um, um, uh, yeah, now it is preserved and we have this very interesting uh, construction of the cupola on the four overlapping arches and the cupola. It is very strong, very good construction for our uh, region where the earthquake happened uh, very often. This is uh, Portal Dom Hanakas. Uh, 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 centric composition two, uh, Qasim Shaykh Hanakah, it is Shaykh on another order. Uh, Portal Dom Hanakah, which I showed before in the uh, lobby house, with a longitudinal main axis with, and, and same Hanakah with longitudinal main axis, but uh, uh, only two Hanakah in uh, Uzbekistan, I think in Central Asia too, have two portals on two sides of this uh, main axis. 
you can see this on the this uh, Hanaka and two entrance, this one, and this Hanaka at the, um, this is Imam Bahra in Samarkand, uh, Samarkand uh, area, and this is uh, tomb of Hakim At-Tirmizi at Intermes with two portals. Uh, in a, as an expression, it is possible name this Hanaka. Portal Dom Facade. Uh, this is uh, another variant of the Portal Dom Hanaka. This Facade Hanaka, uh, it is uh, uh, Faisabad. Such composition was implemented at Faisabad uh, Rosillon and Mirakon Hanakas. From that, preserved only this Faisabad Hanaka. And fourth period, in the evolution of Hanaka architecture in the eight, the beginning of 20th century. This fourth period, not so flourishing, not so monumental. And so it is a uh, less studied period. And uh, we can study this and we find the new material about the uh, lost uh, complexes, very interesting complex of first period. And I uh, now I show you this, my research. During this late period, the Atasawuf teaching declined, yet Sufism became more widespread as a doc doctrines and ritual uh, practice simplified. An economic decline led to the construction of more modest Hanakar building, which increasingly also functioned as a local mosque. It was the, in this period, in the economic reason, they don't, don't build the big, biggest and monumental uh, building. And Hanaka uh, played the two functions in local mosque, Mahalla Mosque and Hanaka. So we named this Hanaka Mosque or Mosque Hanaka. Uh, they again took on the form of the early Hanaka types in which a columned Ivan adjoined uh, to the prayer hall. Often Hanakas on this kind together with single story Hujras, Edarvaza Hana, and Tahart Hana, etc., would be built around the courtyard, uh, constituting a whole Sufi complex. For example, this one inner yard, and this is Hanaka Mosque, it is Darwaza Hana, and premises for Sufis, for pilgrims, and uh, for another function. And this is another one, it is a Khalifa Inya school, it is uh, Khalif Khudaidot with um, Iwans. In this period, whole Hanaka had Iwan and this, uh, this Iwan composition. Uh, Ishan in law complex, little uh, studied and lost complex once occupied a rectangular territory stretching along the north south axis and had a small courtyard. The courtyard space was functionally divided into three sections the southern entrance, which included Hujras, Hujras' is premises, a kitchen, and Darwazahana. Darwazahana is entrance, uh, entrance part. The middle section with a Hanaka mosque occupying a significant portion of the courtyard and a minaret located in its uh, northern uh, northeast corner. The northern section surrounded by cells of three sides expect to the south, which uh, was probably a monastery built accommodate to the murids who stayed for the extended periods. The Hanaka had a monumental roof with uh, four brick domes and surrounded by three sides uh, except the western by pillar I1. This is this is a small house, small uh, inner courtyard, and this is big uh, and monumental, uh, and a little bit monumental by the uh, inner uh, interior uh, brick uh, for brick, uh, uh, very good for um, couples uh, no. ceiling, yes, uh, don't. And this complex was very uh, esteemed, but uh, was 
destroyed during the Soviet rulers, Soviet uh, atheistic, uh, in atheistic reason. Um, it was, uh, you can see this section drawings and inside this monumental, this one uh, column and four, uh, four don't, this one cutting. And this is from archive, or from archive, from the uh, different uh, sources was uh, reconstruction, <laughs> reconstructed by our research. And this fully preserved uh, Hanukkah in the first period, in the late period, Khalifayakhudai.com complex, one of almost completely preserved uh, 18th, 19th century Sufi complex in Central Asia, in Bukhara. He was the Shaykh of uh, Yasaviya Azizon Brotherhood, who lived uh, during the second half of the 18th century in Bukhara. For more than 40 years, he taught uh, in Miliarab Madrasa, uh, educated hundreds of the students. Today, the complex occupied a trapezoid area and uh, right toward the south, extend the north to south. The inner enclosed courtyard uh, and the area center surrounded by the arrow and varying structures. It is, uh, this is the part, Darvaza Hana, and this is Hanakah Mosque. And this is uh, uh, for water. It is the sardoba inside of the uh, inside of the courtyard. You can see it here. This is sardoba. This is uh, darvazohana portal darvazohana, and late uh, type of the with Iwan, late type of Hanaka mosque, and premises around the inner courtyard. This is interior of this uh, domed uh, Hanaka. Uh, and partly preserved Halifa Niyar School Sufi complex. And many people and tourists uh, know it li like a Chorminor because only enters part with four minarets was uh, well preserved, was preserved. The Khalifaimiya school complex was also multifunctional and included a Hanakah mosque uh, and hujras for students. Uh, those in was often referred to as madrasa. During the middle of the 20th century, the complex main buildings were demolished with only its portal and dome entrance, a darvazahana with four um, minarets on the corner surviving. And giving this expressive architectural object its uh, current name, Char Minar, means the four minarets. And there the same situation. We can see this is preserved, it is new photos. And this is uh, old plan, which was before. This is darvazahana this one, and there were the uh, Hanaka, Hanaka with uh, columned uh, flat row, and uh, with uh, two sides I1 on the pillars. And uh, same situation around the courtyard was uh, viewed the premises for Shaikh, for Murids, for pilgrims, and so on. A very interesting photo we, we have in, I think you know about Prakudin Gorsky. Prakudin Gorsky, it is for first people who make the first uh, color photos. It was the, uh, in the uh, early beginning of 20th century. And uh, we, we was like that uh, Prakudin Gorsky uh, took the photo of complex Khalifa Nia school in 1907. And it is, uh, we know, uh, like, uh, what likes look the Chorminor, 
in back facade before because preserved only this end of facade and this uh, part was uh, lost. Uh, according to various sources, the complex uh, was constructed by the um, Khalifai near school, near school Al Lebabi at Turkmeni from Turkmenistan, no, 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 modern Turkmenistan now, uh, a native of Eastern Turkmenistan, a um, prominent theological and Shaykh from the Mujadidiya Naqshbandidiya Brotherhoods. It is uh, late way of Naqshbandiya, Mujadidiya Naqshbandiya. It was very popular, I think, in uh, in India. In India, this, uh, you know about this Mujadidiya because very, very, Naqshbandiya was very popular in the world and uh, in the Turkey, in the, our neighbor, neighborhood countries, in Pakistan, in India too. And late way was Mujadidiya Naqshbandiya, which was very pop popular. And this sheikh was one of the most, uh, mm, no, great sheikh of this uh, way. Uh, for the last 30 years of his life, he survived as an Imam Khatib of Bukhara's main mosque, Kalan, during the region of Emir Shah Murad and his son, Emir Haidar, who were his murids. So, governors were, were murids of Khalifaia school. And it's happened very often because uh, from the 15th centuries in Uzbekistan, uh, Many, many governors, his family, and so on. They were the uh, student murids of Shaykh, um, Sufi Shaykh. And uh, sometimes one people uh, can be the uh, murid of several murshid. For example, Amir Timur was murshid of uh, three, four. Uh, uh, different brotherhoods of Tariqat, Naqshbandiya, Yasafiya, and another one, and Sukhavardiya too. On, he was the murid of, uh, his murid was in Sukhavardiya too. Uh, you can see here this plan in the 1948, uh, but it's building, this part, this uh, entrance part is preserved uh, and famous like a charminar. And very, very interesting, this, uh, this uh, complex, it is Kizbibi uh, female, female Suvi monastery. It is only in Central Asia and very interesting by history, very interesting by holder of this, uh, Middle Ages holder of this um, monastery. This rare female Sufi monastery is connected with a name of Naqshbandiya Tariqat's Murshida. Murshid, it, uh, it is a term uh, for the men's Murshid. But sometimes it happens that uh, Murshid, like a Shaykh, Shaykh of this uh, order, were uh, the uh, ladies. And uh, one of them was the Oray um, Buzruk, Mastura Hanum. She was Murshida, means female mentor. And among their murids were Babur's sister, Mughal Hanum. You know about Babur, the great Mughal of Babur. Babur's sister is Mughal Hanum, the wife or governor, Shibani Khan, etc. And between, this, uh, between her murids were men and women. It is very interesting for Middle Ages. Uh, you can see same the uh, in this period same uh, uh, plan. This is the Hanaka. Opposite of them, this is um, grave of the no, mausoleum of Kazbibi, and it is consists of three part. This entrance part. This is worship part, and this is a monastery part for. Uh, who lived, uh, lived there and who sometimes uh, stay here like a pilgrims. Uh, this is, I was, when I worked in the uh, Restoration Institute, one of the small part 
I was very young and I asked, give me some project. I am ready for my own project. And they give me very, very small building. And I was like, it, it was the Chilahana. It was the many, they, they thinking it was a deep Soviet period in 18th, uh, 1980s. And it, oh, it is for young, uh, young specialists, we give a smallest one. And smallest one was biggest one by the meaning. Mm -hmm. It was the Chilahana. And it was uh, the out of this located out of, of um, complex. Uh, and this photo uh, take in this year when I working in institute and uh, uh, make we make the uh, big group of architect and construction restorators we uh, make the restoration project of this complex and now he, this complex fully restored and uh, from the Bukhara they led the very good uh, Daroga way. Uh, road. Yeah? Road. road, but before it was без uh, was it was a, it, it was a desert, and very very difficult was to reach this uh, Sufi complex, and in the in the Soviet period, in atheistic period, they let uh, they no, not let us to know something about the religion, so study religious uh, subjects and so on. And so we don't know uh, anything about Sufism, about tariqats, about this female. And um, during the, our research, we uh, you know, get the, some knowledge because we don't have the book, don't have the research. It was period when we fully was closed, like a Soviet uh, country. So my English not so good <laughs> because we speak Russian. Uh, this is colonial language and my native language is Uzbek. And I uh, teach in, uh, uh, in Uzbek and Russian group. And so it was very, very good memory for me. And uh, I very liked this uh, complex. Uh, it's, uh, now it's, uh, they make the new restoration. And like uh, uh, as architect and restorator, I am uh, very afraid that they uh, uh, make too much and we lose the authentic uh, authenticity of this complex. Uh, it happened in our country very often now and we're fighting for our monuments, for preserving authenticity of our monuments. Uh, and, and last one, uh, some pictures, it, it's my picture from the uh, 90, uh, 1913, uh, uh, 2000, mm, I finished about this uh, monastery and I told only the women visit this monastery, not only from all regions of Uzbekistan, but also from Turkmenistan and Tajikistan. It is this uh, uh, shrine very popular between the Central Asian uh, women. And last, uh, uh, in my presentation, Hanakah, it uh, Hanakah of Sufi Dukhon, uh, which located in Sufi Dukhon complex, and only this uh, building preserved from the whole complex. Here, he, uh, it is real little studies, but preserved because um, very monumental uh, architecture of this Hanakah, uh, which was built in 18th century by Sufi Shaykh, who uh, preached Sufism, uh, people in bazaars and Sufi and in other ways. Um, the building's project, very interesting fact, the building's project was designed by the famous Sufi Shaykh, Baba Rahim Mashrab. He is very, very great poet, uh, Sufi poet, Baba Rahim Rashmat, who placed sacred earth brought from Mecca under the building's brickwork and uh, poured zamzam, holy water, brought from Mecca into the well. Uh, the water there is still delicious because it is... Uh, 
this uh, complex uh, consists of dwell. And very many, many rituals of women's uh, concerning so the, with this uh, old dwell. It is very old photos. I don't know what happened with, the, with this building now. I'm afraid that it's uh, fully restored. Like our now, uh, in our government, like now, because they tried to uh, trying to um, develop the uh, pilgrimage uh, the tourism. They uh, very um, fast make the restoration without our advisors, advisors of our uh, restorate, uh, specialists in restoration. And sometimes we are very um, pity when uh, very absent when I uh, saw the result of their unprofessional conservation and restoration. And it is um, on this photo, you can see this um, approximately uh, authentic uh, view of this building. Uh, the structure was a rectangular portal and dome building with a deep mihrab to the west and two hujras along this, its sides. In 17th century, was roofed with the large dome. The corners of the main facade were fixed with guldasta, uh, guldasta значит, minarets. Uh, 80 years later, in uh, the ancient portal and dome building was re rebuilt in accordance with the developed trends of Hanaka architecture during the later period. It was probably intended to combine the function of mosque within a uh, Ivan on 14 wooden column columns was attached to the Hanaka from the from three sides. In conclusion, the third period, 14th-17th centuries, was the blues Roman time of Sufi architecture. And at this time, most magnificent and monumental Hanakas built for, commissioned and built by rulers and other rich Sufis. Uh, the, by the futures of their architecture, these monumental Hanakas were of three main types. The oldest one was Hanakah with central hall the Zikr Hana and Kalunt Ivan. Uh, second one, two chamber buildings uh, of Hanakah Mausoleum. Two mausoleum was adjoined the Hanakah build, uh, premises building. And um, most monumental, third one, monumental portal domed Hanakah of three kinds with centric composition, with a longitudinal main axis and with extended a facade axis. Uh, the late stage of Sufi architectural development in 18, beginning of uh, 20th century, is characterized by uh, reverting to the earlier types of Hanakas that extend between the 15th and uh, 17th centuries, uh, containing a prior hall surrounded by the pillared Ivan. Over time, columned Ivans were attached on one or uh, two or three sides, a portal and dome Hanakah mosque, built more monumental according to the uh, old tradition. Uh, all considered the and many other preserved Sufi shrines and Hanakahs of Uzbekistan have been restored uh, and transferred to the believers in the last 15-20 years. The monumental and architecturally expressive Sufi Hanakahs built in 15-17 centuries at the famous Sufi shires Tomb are masterpieces of the Central Asian architecture. Memorial complexes where they, uh, where they were erected now are the most visited Ziarat Gors, sacred places and pilgrimage destinations of Uzbekistan, where pilgrimage tourism is rapidly developing. Thank you for your attention. Thank you so much, Professor Yusupovo, for a very rich presentation. It was fascinating. Um, we have some time for questions. We have about uh, eight minutes for questions. So for those on uh, the webinar, feel free to type in your questions. Those of you present, feel free to ask your questions. And I do want to say, actually, in my haste 
to introduce Professor Yusufova, I didn't mention everyone who made this possible. So I want to thank Professor Martha Alcott, Professor Salah Hassan, uh, the uh, pro chat project uh, investigators, also Michael Downs, the program manager, um, Mary Ferdosi for setting all this up, uh, and there are a bunch of other people. We have also translators with us. Uh, please remind me your name, David. David, yes. And then we have another uh, yeah, Matthew. Matthew. Yes, that's put you on the spot. But uh, and I'm sure there are others that I'm, I'm overlooking here. But thank you all for for be joining us as well. So why don't we open the floor for questions? Uh, so any questions from anyone here? Mm -hmm. uh, just a moment. Oh, yes, please. Uh, yes. Continue your, your work. I am very proud and I am very glad to be part of your project. Oh, we, we, are, we are delighted to have you with us. Thank you. Thank you. I wish uh, successful in the future of our project. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And excuse me, yes. Your, your question, please. Oh, thank you for your talk. Do you have any idea why some of the buildings were demolished? by Soviets in the mid 20th century and others were uh, some some buildings, uh, religion buildings, mosque, madrasas, and Sufi Kanakas was the most uh, by the uh, atheistic reason. It was in 1937, especially in Stalin's period, and was sometimes when our government became the crazy. And uh, by by uh, uh, unreligion politics, and now uh, from the independence uh, time, uh, we free in our religions and our uh, religion buildings were uh, come back to the believers. Uh, yes. Thank you. This was really wonderful. I have to visit. Uzbekistan. Well, I was really interested. I was thinking of India and Delhi, the Kanakas. But these are really ornamental, very grand structures with in the Delhi mausoleum. The mausoleum is the center. Uh, so, how is it? What is distinct about these Uzbek, Uzbek Kanakas? Uh -huh. uh, I think that it is local tradition before. And in India, I have seen only late period of Hanakas, which was inside of the uh, of the courtyard, and this local tradition. And I think it is a late tradition because uh, because our uh, Sufi tariqats not so widespread in India in the early period of uh, evolution. I'll sneak in a question. Um, since the fall of the Soviet Union. What is the status of Sufism in Uzbekistan today? Mm -hmm. We have very, very good uh, orientalist who study, for example, you know, and um, Professor Olkut know, Bakhtiar Bajanov, very good in Sufism. Then uh, Ashurbek Muminov, Ilyar Karimov, they uh, def defended their not only PhD, but Post PhD is professorship dissertation, doctorate, and in Sufism. And now, with so many, many books, so many research, so many translations of the uh, old papers, old sources, and it is very helpful for us, even for architects, uh, for the sources. We know what write about this, uh, what this was before, how looks like the complex before, because travelers and work documents. Mm. Uh, showed us uh, the evolution, part mm. of the evolution. Mm. It's very useful for us. Mm. And uh, Najmiddin Kamilov was uh, first mm. uh, in the Sufi uh, research. Yes. He's died, it's very famous. So, so that's the state of Sufi, Sufism, research on Sufism. How about among the general population? Are there new Hanavas being built or, I don't know? Uh, very interesting question. <laughs> I try to find some real uh, practicushi who in practice of the Sufism. Mm. Uh, they don't let to uh, foreign mm. to another people uh, mm. about his practice mm. because they are afraid. Mm. Because before in our country now we know we are researchers know Sufism. Oh. It is um, uh, before Shariat and then tariqat. Mm. 
Sufism is part of the Islam. Sufism of the, the intellectual, very high uh, not it, it's some, uh, by uh, philosophy, by in other uh, things, very high meanings Islam, very um, education, uh, no, intellectual. Not, intellectual, yes. Uh, but uh, during the 70 years of Soviet period, we forgot about um, Sufism fully mm -hmm. and our modern uh, modern uh, religion people, religion leaders, told about only uh, Sharia, uh, uh, Islam in Sharia, mm -hmm. and Sufism like a history, like a historical tradition, philosoph philosophical tradition, and intellectual tradition. Now, but I not know so many people who practice Sufism. Mm -hmm. I know uh, several of them. I know with me. It was Ibrahim Hazrat who lived in the Kakant, uh, and he has uh, he had many many um, I think is thousands of murids in whole of Central Asia, and I uh, I'd like to be uh, his uh, murid and go to his wife because he don't uh, uh, don't uh, take the uh, women and his wife all the, but I was late. He uh, he died, mm. and now Sufi Tariqat's leader uh, uh, during the Karim regime, he was afraid of his safety, and he went to the uh, Kazakhstan, and I think he's living in the Turkestan. Mm. And there are the Hoja Ahmad Yassavi, the founder of uh, um, Yassavi Tariqat, and uh, these people who concern to Yassaviya and our people who go to the, uh, this place and the two big centers in Kazakhstan. In Uzbekistan, they uh, still afraid, but our new president, uh, Shavkat Mirziyoyev, let us all religion ways and help the religion people. It's really, I critically, I, 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 I critically, uh, but some politics ways, but uh, in religion, in education, in intellectual ways, our president very helpful for us. And especially now he very helpful for us for preserving our monuments. So many, many rules, so many, many zakoni and uh, laws uh, he published in new made now. And now the unprofessional people are afraid to make something wrong with, uh, with uh, monuments. It is uh, good politics of our Oh, yes. I know Stu but I know Professor Hassan had a question. No, no. Oh, another question. Okay. Uh, okay. I think it was one. Was there one more question? Okay. Well, let me take this opportunity to thank also Gabriel Sandoval, helped with the recording. Yeah, I guess, Betty, do you want to get a question? Yeah. Were there Hanukkah in the caravan sarans along the Silk Road? It was, it was, but not inside of Karen Sarais. Mm -hmm. Inside of Karen Sarais was the, uh, uh, absolutely was the mosque uh, for travelers. For, uh, but uh, Sufism was not so uh, open. It, Sufi, uh, uh, Sufi complex was during along this uh, um, Silk Road, but not inside of Karen Sarais. Very good. Well, please join me in thanking our guest speaker, Professor Fagel.